What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video. This one specifically we're going to be doing the Weather Vane quests for um for uh, Tinker Tom. Uh this one could take uh, potentially a few episodes, a uh, few videos because there's uh, a total of 10, although I think I mean, there, there's a total of 11, but I think uh you can sometimes get through with 10 or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I think we've only done like one, maybe two before, so we got a pretty long road ahead of us. So I want to get started on this video as quick as possible. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get on with it. Alright, so where is it that we have to go? We have to go uh, to the broken monorail. So we got to just fast travel directly outside. Uh, it'll just be a little faster. We don't have to go through the entire church essentially to get through or whatever And we wouldn't have to go to two different loading screens one exiting the uh, The railroad and then one exiting the actual church So fast traveling here is probably the best way to get out instead of uh, it'll be a hell of a lot faster Seeing as the loading screens in Fallout 4 are pretty ridiculous to be honest uh, But the good thing behind that is that the broken monorail is literally right outside and uh, on top of that, Tinker Tom is, he's one of those that you don't have to go in. Or you don't have to like, once you turn it in, you don't have to leave the, the railroad HQ and then go back in to reactivate another quest. He kind of just has them available for you as soon as you finish if, uh, once you finish one. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a little bit faster and more efficient uh, to do that this way. Uh, after all, we've already did all of Pam's and um, Drummer Boy's side quest, so literally Tinker Tom's is the last one we need to do. So it should be pretty, pretty, you know, quick considering we're going to be knocking them out one after another. So, because I, I do want to just get over this whole railroad situation. This is the last thing we need to do for the railroad uh, before it's actually main storyline type of things. But I still haven't really decided who I want to side with yet so we'll get we'll cross that point i guess when once we get there right um but let me know which uh faction you would like me to side with down below all right it's up here somewhere how do i get up there it's been a while since i've done these so i'm not really sure maybe if i go into this building Oh no, it's on the monorail itself, huh? I think I remember how to I think I remember how to get there. It's not in in, uh, in any of these buildings. Um Where is it? I think I think it's in here. Hey. Uh-oh. Let's take this dude out really quick. It's gotta be in here. Is there somebody up here? Oh! Take this dude out really quick. I hope you're ready, Deaconizer. Uh, Deaconizer. Oh! I didn't mean to do that, but it worked. Get out of my way, Deaconator. I got some raiders to kill. Come on. Dude, I'm on fire right now. Uh, I guess there was somebody up here. Wait, no, no, no. No, fuck. Let's get some arm shots. Dude, we're, we're killing it right now. Uh, there's somebody up here. We'll hit her with uh, one of these things. Since the uh, percentage was relatively low. This person is just screwed. Come on. Oh. What? Um. What? That's some bullshit. 
bullshit I say! And now we're back at the fucking railroad. <laughs> oh, great, dude. I really gotta... Once we, once we leave this place, or once we, uh, yeah, once we, uh, get close to the firefight or whatever, we're gonna have to save it. Or quick save it, just in case, because these loading screens are redonkulous sometimes. Luckily, it's not very far from the church. And hopefully it doesn't have to reload all of the assets. Hopefully it still has some of it in system memory so it actually uh, loads just a tad bit quicker, you know? I, I hope that's the case, but I don't think so. Just don't think that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Nope, it's gonna have to reload everything. Yay, me! <clears throat> I wonder if this is gonna work. Any minute now. Like, I love this game with a fiery passion, dude. It's so great. But one of the few things I don't like is the, the horrendous loading screens. Alright, well. Now that that's done, let's find a way to get to where we were. It's around here somewhere. Alright, there's that green door we passed. So we should literally be here. Right? Oh yeah, 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 we're here. Let's go into sneak mode. Quick save here. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll keep that quick save. Cause it's uh it's good, it's like kinda out of the way. Alright, let's take this dude out real quick. That was absolutely terrible. Alright, let's take this dude out. Alright, good. Deaconator, it's just us now. Ready? Oh no. Fuck me. I tried to run out of there as soon as possible, but it was a little too late. Uh, luckily, it should be pretty fast because all the assets are already loaded in. So, the, the, the whole respawning portion or whatever should be faster than it was loading into the institute or into the railroad and then outside of the railroad i don't know why i said institute yeah see it's a lot faster since it's already all in system memory all right you know what we'll quick save here this is a better spot to quick save oh that's terrible 85 yes i can easily get uh criticals this way great shot my god where did i learn that from good you know what i kind of want to come up here deacon stay down there and uh provide me cover okay so maybe this isn't a great spot <laughs> let's go back down oh no don't 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 die i just said don't die Why doesn't this game listen to me? I just don't know. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's hopefully try to do this again. We need to take out that freaking grenade person. Alright, where's this guy? Oh, great. No, uh, right, right there. Fuck it. Can you come down here, please? Oh, I thought he fell off. I was about to say, what the fuck? Where's he at? Oh! Alright, let's uh get some headshots on him. Come on. I think that was a grenade person, too. Alright, where's this guy? 
fuck, man? Who's shooting at me? Are you dead? Thank you. Perfect. Let's do a fucking quick save. Uh, we'll do this. This guy, I'm gonna do a headshot. Critical. This guy, I'm gonna do a headshot critical. And just like that, we're good. I'm not gonna pick up everything. I'm just literally, I'm just gonna loot the ones that are in route. All right, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Is there no? Is there somebody else? Oh, it's the. Holy shit, that was close. All right, come on, baby, let's go. Luckily, it auto saves in here. I mean, anytime you go through a door, it auto saves, so we don't have to worry about quick saving again. But now we have to load in the entire interior. But luckily, it's not as uh, intensive memory wise as outside. So, loading indoors is always a lot faster. Oh, that thing is front. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Really? Don't die, please. No, uh, well, yeah, fuck it. Get out of the way, Deacon. Is there somebody over here? Here, I'll help you, Deacon. The Deaconator. I did kill him, you're right. Very astute of you. Damn it, what did I pick up? Um, inventory. I don't want that, so let's drop that. I don't want that, let's drop that. Don't want that. I'll keep that, fuck it. I don't want that. Um. Fuck, that should be good enough for now, holy shit. No, stop shooting at me, damn it. Oh no. Uh, maybe I should quick save just in case. Alright, I'm going two headshots on these guys. Oh shit, there's three of them. One of them has a fucking rocket launcher. Oh no. Please leave me alone. Alright, let's quick save. Luckily for us. Not, that that wasn't very lucky. <laughs> uh, I should have. I should. I should heal. Uh, let's see. Um, we'll try to get away with it. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. one more quick save. I want the guy with the rocket launcher. Where's the rocket launcher man? There he is. Fuck you, guy! Right there. That's... That's unfortunate. I should have used one of my criticals before on, uh, Rocket, on Rocket Man. That's his name. Oh, I have one! All right, so there we go. He's done, skis. Let's go in here, quick save, and then we'll go back outside. Uh, I get 73 for his left arm. No, no, that's not the left arm. I'm assuming his torso. No, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, left arm. All right. Come on, baby. Good. That's everybody. Deaconator, come on. Stop stop fooling around. 
Let's take a quick nap. Make sure our health is full. Deaconator, get up, dude. I'll take those missiles. Alright. Um. So where to? This way? I'm learning as I go, I guess. We should probably be hidden, huh? Eighth floor. Looks like we got a battle up here. Alright, I'm not picking that. Oh, shit! Come on, die. Good. That worked out to our advantage. Alright, we got some robots over here. And a turret. We should probably focus on that first. Woo wee! Alright, let's quick save right here. And then destroy these watchers. Oh, fuck! Where'd you come from? Die! Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. Baby. Wasn't there one over here? I guess not. The Raiders got absolutely destroyed. I'll take those, thank you. I'll take that biometric scanner for later. And uh well, let's go. No, that's not what I wanted. What the fuck? I wanted to reload. It literally should be over here. Oh, man. Should have uh, probably healed before we came out here. It's all good, though. We have a little bit of time. We will definitely heal up now. Well, once it, it loads all the exterior assets, of course. Oh, look. They're so cute. Little mole rats. We're, I want one as a pet. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Luckily though, we're at the end of this place, I think. Could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure we're almost clear of this place. Let me know down in the comments. Um... If you want me to make content on all these videos, because I know they're pretty repetitive, even though every single Mila is in a different location, I know they're very repetitive. It's the same goal in every single one of the Mila things, and you have to do it ten minimum of 10 times, sometimes 11. Uh, so let me know. I understand if you guys don't want to see this content. I still want to do them. So if you don't want to see them, I'll probably do them af off camera, but if you do want to see them, I'll, I'll gladly do them on camera as well. But it's like I said, it's very repetitive, you know? So who knows? <clears throat> we'll see. Let me know. Once you guys tell me, I'll make the decision then. If this freaking thing will ever load. I'm going to quick save when I get out here too. There we go. Just in case. That way I don't have to load the external assets again. Garden Terrace. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. This is... Belly. Come on. Give me some percent. Let's see how, how much this does. Oh, I'm screwed. Run! I don't think he could come in here. Oh, my God. Whoop, I was wrong. <laughs> That's a fucking, that's fucking funny, dude. All right. Maybe I should focus. I got an idea. Got an idea. I could do a cryo mine. Let's 
put a cryo mine right here. And then maybe we should focus on the legs. All right, we'll do. We'll focus on the right leg. Let's do one critical. Oh shit! Run away. Oh no. Oh no! Jump! I'm legitimately fucking nervous right now. Oh, you know where it can't get me? Way over here. Uh, it's 39. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna go for the the belly. All right, I'm hiding. Please show up right here, so I can get some nice little shots really fast. Is he gonna come? Is there another mine I could use? Or maybe even frag grenades? Probably wasn't high enough. That was terrible. Alright, I'm gonna switch camera views. Um. Wait, how do I do this again? Alright. Yeah, every freaking Fallout game's controls are completely different. This, this guy is going to die. I mean, you could try to come over here, bro, but let's be real here. Let's get a few shots. Cool. Come back. Let me get a couple of belly shots. Come on, baby. What? Come back here, please. He's almost dead. Come on. Oh shit. All right, I should probably quick save right here since we've done some pretty good progress. All right, let's get some belly shots. Hopefully get some criticals. Alright, let's go back again. He's gonna run away. Dude, I'm cheesing the shit out of this, and it, it's 100% okay with me. Come on. Alright, come on, baby. Critical. Let's use this last critical. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead! Woohoo! See you later, bozo. Too bad he's not a legendary. Alright, uh, well, fuck that. I'm actually going to change my camera view because camera angle sucks. Alright. I want to say it's in here. Um, I want to say it's all the way over here at the end of this thing. This place is pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Red bandana, nah. Why is there a robot over here? You know what? I'll use this just to get some criticals. Oh, maybe I should quick save, huh? You can have that. 
I didn't need to quick save. I'm just a monster. All right, let me see. Archer's plasma. Don't mind if I do. I'll take those two. Alrighty. Where do I put it? All right, it's right here. Hell yeah. Let's go back to Tinker Tom. That was pretty tough only because of the stupid death claw, man. Like, what the hell? That dude was hard. I mean, the beginning of it, before, like, right before we got to uh, Haymarket Mall or whatever it's called, it was pretty difficult at that point, too, but. And not really for, like, difficulty per se. I was just getting unlucky, man. It's the guy that was throwing grenades. That guy was a freaking pain in my ass. You from one of those vaults? Yes. Uh, where's Tinker Tom? Where he's always at, of course. Hey there. Another Mila placed and even more data. I know another building that could use a Mila. Let's do this then, Whoa. Tinker Tom. We could just do some business. Uh, let's go. go. Right you are. Yes, right I am. Alright, anyways, uh, where's it? Boston Bugle. This one should be pretty easy, I think. Let's find out. I should have rested, man. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, it's too late for that now. We're just gonna YOLO it at this point. If the game decides to do me a solid and load the assets quickly, which <laughs> never does. Never does. It'll get there eventually, guys. I don't know why, uh, why it takes so long. I think partially, uh, part of the reason why it takes a while to load is probably because, um, I do use like this like one computer basically I don't use a two system setup uh, so my one CPU does the recording and the OBS and all that stuff and the it also does the actual game processing and stuff so I think a part of the reason why the load screens are I mean I could be wrong I'm not very tech savvy when it comes to this kind of stuff so I'm just assuming at this point but I think that's probably the reason why the load screens are so horrendous for me because I don't remember them being this bad ever. At least not on console. I mean, they were still pretty long, just not this long, you know? Because sometimes this thing could take like two minutes to load. It'll be pretty interesting to see uh, how fast everything loads on a, like a, on a PS5, you know what I mean? That'll be pretty freaking insane. I don't know, I'm pretty excited for the next gen consoles, man. Like the other day they released um what is it called? Uh like uh Epic Games or whatever did like their uh their uh, tech demo for their latest uh, game engine, which is Unreal 5 of course. Uh and, and it was pl being played on the PS5 and it 100% blew me away, man. Like the it it looked fantastic. I've I've I mean this generation's best looking game in my personal opinion. Uh, I haven't played them all, but uh, I know there's some other good games that or another games out there that look fantastic. But out of all the games I played uh, on this gen, the best looking game, personally speaking, I think would be Gears Five, which is a fantastic game, I might add. But Gears Five had some 100% fantastic graphics man it was such a beautiful game dude i loved it a lot even from the very beginning when you go through that little like water covered like cove if you will i don't even know what to call it but it was absolutely beautiful dude i was like my god it was it was insane damn dude we're like going on what four minutes this one's taking forever to load
these are the moments that I really wish we could fast travel from inside um from inside buildings that would that would literally fix all the problems too because you would only have to load exterior uh, assets only once you know what I mean because whenever you're done clearing a building you can just fast travel from inside the building to say the railroad HQ and you just knocked out that middleman instead of having to fast travel twice but that's just my opinion <coughs> Oh my god, dude, this one is taking a long time. <clears throat> Did it finally load? The music changed. Probably not. Yay, Fallout 4. So, Fallout 76, that's something that it has going for it, in my opinion. Um, it may not be technically the best performing game out there, but for it being a lot bigger and a lot more graphics compared to, um, to Fallout 4 or whatever, it's a, it's a way bigger game, you know? And for the sheer size of that game, for it to still have faster load speeds, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Blows me away. All right. So we gotta go to the Boston Bugle. Where's the Boston Bugle? Isn't... Isn't that where we just were? It is. We're literally going next to where we just were. <clears throat> That's nice. Do I have a level up by any, way, by any chance? No. Well, well, let's check. Oh, I'm almost level 19, so that's good. Gunners? Why are they pissed at us? Let's not piss them off. Oh, found the Boston Bugle. Yeah, this place should be pretty easy. The good thing about it is we're loading interior assets, so it should be pretty quick going into the building. So that's a good thing. Yeah, see? We're good. Ah, looks like we got robots in here. You know what? I'll take that military grade circuit board. Um I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go exactly. I don't remember. I know there's a place where there's a giant hole in the bottom. It might be this floor, I'm not sure. But I think there's a robot here, too. Oh. Speak of the devil, it's right behind me. Oh, fuck. Come on, baby. Get another critical sneak attack damage. I had to do it on my own, dude, because he was going to start blasting me. Fusion cells. I'll take all of that. Fuck it. Oh. Ooh, there's a Nuka Cola right here. Larry? Why are you dead, Larry? Did you used to live here? Um, I'll take that 45. That Nuka Cola. Let's read Larry's terminal. Larry's hall report. Oh man, these past few halls have been great. Here's what I got so far. Important looking car parts. <laughs> he doesn't even know what they are. Uh, alarm clock, wrench, light bulbs, fuses, pack of smokes, baseball glove, chessboard, clothes hangers. Gotta start planning my trip to Diamond City soon. Alright. Uh, entry number one, score. Uh, I was out on my usual runs and I found this place. Seems to be some pre-war newspaper office. Plenty of articles similar to what, the, what that Piper chick writes over in Diamond City. Hey, I know Piper. She lives at my place, actually. Uh, anyway, the building's uh, completely deserted. I managed to wipe this terminal so we can use it to keep track of my junk. All I had on it was some old articles anyway. Some stuff about survivors that uh, was years ago. Anyway, I even managed to activate the Protectron. I got my own personal bodyguard. Things are looking up for old Larry. 
he has his own bodyguard, the bodyguard's here. So I wonder what happened. Uh, entry number two. Gotta avoid Monzingor Plaza. Um, I, did I have a mission for this? Uh, not gonna try that again. I decided to head up uh, to that fancy sounding place, Monsignor Plaza, uh, Plaza. Figured I'd be some, there'd be some sweet loot I could salvage from that old, from some of the old shops in there. Uh, way too much effort dodging all the mutants. But uh, once I got into the plaza, things looked promising. Managed to peek into this bookstore, uh, bookstore which had some toys and comics too. Weirdest thing was that there was some creepy costume in a display box on the counter. But before uh, I could open the box, some raiders found me and started shooting. Worst of all, I had to drop my cap stash. Barely got out of life. Okay. Entry 3, feeling watched. Man, I got it made up here. Uh, Central Boston uh, Scabbers Paradise. And yet, something doesn't feel right. I swear, there's something lurking in the shadows. Something with the strangest silhouette. It sort of looked like the that costume over Monsignor Plaza. Might be time to pack up and find somewhere else. This place gives me the creeps. Damn, that does sound creepy. That's gotta be... Some sort of a... Uh, I don't want... Uh, eh, fuck it, let's go. Oh, no, don't, don't fall. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta find a way to get out of here. I accidentally fell. I'll take those, thank you. Wait, this is suppressed. I'll take it so I can, uh, get the mod. Open door. Alright, cool. We're on top. That was, that was hard. Yeah, I think what we just read there might be one of the creation club uh things or whatever i do have a bunch of creation club things that i have on my game i just never or i haven't played them yet i'm not sure about this one i don't think i've ever done this one but it sounds creepy i'm kind of curious to find out what it is maybe we'll do some of the creation club stuff after we're done with this railroad um side stuff I guess seems pretty interesting to say the least I want I want to know what happened to mr. Larry and why he's dead the protectron is still alive so either a the protectron killed him or something else found a way to bypass the protectron to kill him or maybe he killed himself you never know it is possible since it does kind of sound like he was going crazy you know but I suppose we'll find out. Come on, baby. We actually uh, managed to do... This is the second one we did. I, I need to count. When we get into the Institute, I need to remember to count how many of the weather veins we've done. I want to say this was number three. Yeah, I want to say it was number three. Possibly four? But I'm leaning more towards three. I wonder... I wonder how many we're going to have to do. But I want to get the railroad in their toughest... Uh, I guess positions possible they're not a combative group by any means like they like if they went heads up against the brotherhood of steel like toe to toe literally without using their area of expertise aka subterfuge or anything like that um the brotherhood of steel would destroy them the same thing goes for the institute they would get destroyed by the institute hell even the minutemen would destroy them and they're one of the weakest factions um but the minutemen <clears throat> as weak as they are they're still stronger than the the railroad the railroad's biggest bread and butter in my opinion is their ability to you know to run recons and uh like recon missions and uh, you know they're experts of sub uh, experts in subterfuge so that's their bread and butter combat isn't 
So, getting them supplied uh, with the DIA stashes that we found through Pam and doing these Mila things so that they can get, like, recon, like, eyes, essentially, in more places through their scanners uh, is definitely beneficial. And, of course, uh, making sure everyone from Randolph's safe house was safe. That kind of stuff really bolsters the strength of the railroad. You know, and that's basically what I want to do with all the factions. I want to do everything I can before. Um, I want to do everything I can before uh, uh, for all the factions. Before I actually decide to choose a side. I haven't decided which side I want to do yet, though. So we'll see. There we go. Sweet. All right, nothing fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the railroad. This should be a pretty, a relatively fast load since it's just loading in a small interior. I wonder if he's gonna say anything unique at the fact that we already did three. He hasn't said anything special yet. So, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. For sure. It's crazy, man. Like, we're really, really getting stronger. We're using only the laser rifle. So, it's not, like, a fantastic weapon. Like, the, um, this, uh, the paladin. I always forget what it's called for some reason. But the one that we got the special or the uh, legendary one that we found uh, or that we got from Paladin Dance by helping him. Um, that one is really good for vats, which is what I'm trying to specialize in, obviously. But it doesn't do anything to bolster up the, uh, the damage of the gun. So it makes it a little you really want weak. Freedom. Uh, like by the damage, but because it's a bad weapon, it's really strong. Tom, hey, you keep placing Mila's, and I'll keep paying you. Could always use more Mila's placed if you're interested. Yep. Thank you. Or you could just do some business. Let's do some business. I want to sell you some stuff. Let's see what you got. You got it. There was a thing on there too, man. Hold on, let me. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm keeping that. The Righteous Authority. There you go. So I'll sell that. Keep that. Um. Alright. I'm definitely selling at least two of these. Keeping that. I'll keep that. Hazmat suit. Absolutely keeping that. I don't want that or that um I guess that I don't need that damn there's a lot of stuff I really don't need huh alright so that's good except the trade but I want to see he had a dialogue for Mila everything you build agent types need Oh, he didn't say. Fuck, I fucked it up. I'll I should have asked okay. first. He is. All right, let me see if he has anything spectacular for sale. Oh, he's got the classic 10 millimeter. Um. Well, this is actually not bad, but I don't really need it right now. What about armor? No, he doesn't really have anything spectacular, does he? <laughs> mm, nope uh does he have any mods uh just deliver stuff no thank you thank you though uh mr tom since we got it already where's this next one anyways it's set up mila where's this camp kendall luckily we found Ty uh ticonderoga or whatever let's uh all right well you know what 
Hold on. Oh shit. It's not what I want to do. Yes, I'm not gonna be followed. Don't worry, Desdemona. Who's talking? I don't know. Alright, screw it. assume you're being watched. Always. We're definitely gonna call it a video right here though, guys. Uh we managed to do two of Tinker Tom's quest and setting up Mila, so it's not too bad. We still have a pretty long way to go in my opinion. Maybe two videos. Potentially three though. Uh most likely three. But we'll see uh, how long it takes to complete this uh, little side quest thing or whatever. But if you enjoyed this one, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.